I, I don't know, Ray. I was brought up believing certain things. I, I was brought up Catholic, you know, which I rejected more or less of. Yeah, the nuts, aren't they? But the things you're taught as a child, they never really leave you, do they? So I believe in trying to lead a good life. Like if there's an old lady carrying her shopping home, well, I don't try and help her carry her shopping. I, I don't go that far, but yeah, I'll certainly hold the door out in, in that and let her go out before me. Yeah, and anyways, if you try to help her carry her shopping, she's probably just trying to think you're knicker shopping. Exactly. It's the world we live in today. And at the same time, at the same time as trying to lead a good life, I, I have to reconcile with the fact that yes, I have killed people. Not many people, and most of them were not very nice people. Apart from one person. Who was that? This fella, Danny Alaban's brother. He came at me with a bottle. He was just trying to protect his brother. But, you know, what are you gonna do? I, I shot him down. Yeah, but a bottle, I mean, that's a deadly weapon. If he comes out with you, with it, you know, he's gotta consider the consequences. Yeah, but he was, he was just trying to protect his brother like, like you or I would. I know, but a bottle? That can kill you. That's the case if it's you or him. If he came out with his bare hands, that'd be different. But technically, he's, oh, that'd be different, but it would have been unfair. But technically, someone's bare hands, they can kill you too. They can be deadly weapons too. What if he knew karate, say? He said he was a lollipop man. He was a lollipop man. What's a lollipop man doing knowing fucking karate? I'm just saying. How old was he? About 50? What's a 50 year old lollipop man doing known fucking karate? Was he Chinese? Of course not. Jeez. Can I try to talk about. I know what you're trying to talk about. I killed a little boy. You're talking about fucking lollipop man. You didn't mean to kill a little boy. I know I didn't mean to, but. It's the choices I made in the course of putting into action. Little boy isn't here anymore. He'll never be here again. You know what I mean? Here in this world, not here in Belgium. Fuck. He'll never be here in Belgium either, will he? You know, maybe he wanted to come here when he grew older. I don't know why. And it's all because of me. He's dead because of me. I tried it. I tried to get my head around it, but I can't. I will always have killed the little boy. <laughs> That'll always be the case. It always, it always, it will never go away. It won't ever go away. Unless maybe, maybe I go away. Go, go away where? Don't think like that. Maybe then it might not go away. In the building, the art the museum. Sorry. Even then, it might not go away. Look at that painting of fucking Helen torture earlier. I can't fucking deal with that right now. The man who painted that must have been crazy. Don't think like this, Ray. It will get easier. It will. To know, okay. Ken. I think that's the problem. I think that's the problem. I fucking won't. <laughs> hey, was it uh, Dillinger who got shot through the eyeball? Or are you thinking of somebody else? 
Oh, Green got shot through the eyeball in The Godfather. Yeah, but like, I'm talking about real life. Somebody in real life got shot in the eyeball. Who was that? Well, no, Larry. Loads of people have been shot in the eyeball. I just think Dillinger was one of them. That's really good aim. No, that's not really good aim. How is that not really good aim? Okay, that's like a hundred fucking cops shooting a thousand rounds a minute. Somebody's bound to get hit in the eyeball. Eyeball? Did you ever shot someone in the eyeball? I stabbed a guy in his ear once. Ice pick right, right in his fucking ear. <sighs> yeah, but that'd be a different subject. That's ears. What is the matter with you, dude? Nothing's the matter with me, man. You're nervous because we're killing a chick? Oh yeah, man, you know, I really got that, you know, chick killing shakes. It's, it's just, you know what was the last thing the boss said to me? He says, Tommy, I knew right when I looked into Mari's eyes that I was in love, that I was fucked. Lo and behold, here I am. So he says, hey, can you do me a favor? After you kill her, can you shoot her in the eyeballs for me? It's the last thing he said to me. Yeah, well, I got one exact word for that. It's fucking overkill. Yeah, I got two exact words for that. Here, here. I got three exact words for that. You're damn fucking straight. Is that what puts you in the mind of this Dillinger in the eyeball thing? I get it now. Look, life's just a parade of shot through the eyeball people. What happened to Mahatma Gandhi? Did he... No. Are you sure? Well, I know he was murdered, but no one ever said anything about his eyeballs. Besides, it's Mahandas, anyway. Hey, you know in Cuba, they have these tortures, right, where they give them these devices, where they have two thin metal spikes, and they adjust it millimeter by millimeter to pricks out their eyeballs. You're kidding me! Those communist motherfuckers! Actually, uh, those were the people that those communist motherfuckers kicked out. What is it with you today, Tommy? First it's, should we or shouldn't we kill this chick? And now, you're going all Fredo Castro and all of a sudden, 